Hello! This video will walk through everything you need to know when conducting a video visit with your provider using a desktop computer or laptop. The first things every patient needs for a video visit are your OneChart patient portal account information and access to the internet. Start with ensuring that you're able to log into your patient portal. You will need your username and password. If you happen to have forgotten either of these, you can use the forgot username or forgot password shown here, which will send you instructions to recover them to your email. Once you're logged into your portal, click on the visits tab towards the top to verify that your appointment is scheduled. Once you have a video visit scheduled with your provider, it's time to ensure you're ready for it. Your desktop computer will likely need equipment to be plugged into it. You will need a webcam so your provider can see you and can use a headset, microphone, or speakerphone so your provider can hear you. Here are some examples of this equipment. There are many different brands that will all work just fine. If using a laptop, this extra equipment is not needed as these devices are built in. Keep in mind that only having speakers, such as for listening to music, will only allow you to hear your provider, but they will not be able to hear you. Another option is to use your phone to call into your appointment, which we will discuss later. When the day of your appointment arrives, log into your OneChart patient portal and click the Visits tab again. You will then be on your Appointments and Visits page. On the main screen, you will see the details of all your upcoming visits. Be sure to complete e-check-in as needed by clicking here. E-check-in will have you confirm all your information as you would with an in-person visit, but can be done up to seven days before your appointment to save time. Then go ahead and click on the blue Details button seen here to get ready for your appointment. You will then see all of the appointment details. This Begin Video Visit button will only be available if your appointment is scheduled to begin in the next 10 minutes. If you're too early, please refresh the page. If the button is available, go ahead and click it to let your provider know you are ready. If your provider is not already in the meeting, you will be placed into a virtual waiting room. Once your doctor begins the meeting, you will both enter together. Please do not leave this page even if you feel your provider is taking too long. If you leave this page, your provider will be forced to reschedule your appointment. Your provider can see that you are in this waiting room and will get to you as soon as they can. Once the meeting begins, there may be a few prompts to get your technology in order. If your equipment is ready, you can select Join with Computer Audio. But if you would like to use a phone to call into the appointment, then select the Phone Call tab and dial any of the numbers given. Now that you're in your appointment, let's go over some important options within Zoom. The mute button controls whether your provider can hear you. The video button controls whether your provider can see you. If you're having issues with either of these, you likely need to check your inputs by using the small arrows next to each of those buttons. These just tell your computer what piece of technology to use. The chat function allows you and your provider to send typed messages back and forth or share links to other web pages. Once your appointment is over, your provider will end the meeting for you. You may want to check your internet browser for the pop-up blocker. If you have a pop-up blocker installed, your web browser may block the prompt that launches your telehealth appointment. It may be helpful to go into your computer settings and edit them to allow pop-ups for the OneChart Patient Portal website. If you are looking to have your appointments on a mobile device, please go to the first website and follow the instructions to download the Nebraska Medicine app. Once you have the app downloaded, visit the second website, select Video Visit Instructions, and follow the From Your Phone instructions. Once you've had a successful visit on one device, we highly recommend returning to that device for future video visits. If you do switch devices, you will need to go through all the steps to appropriately set it up again. We hope this becomes a useful option for you, and thank you for choosing Nebraska Medicine for your healthcare needs.